What is your accidentally caught your spouse cheating horror story? Dating this girl a few years back, and I became really good friends with her brother, just because he appreciated my help during a difficult time for their family, their father had abruptly passed away. Two years into the relationship the brother contacts me, and asks to meet up for coffee and a serious conversation. Apparently he caught his own sister with another guy, mutual friend of ours, and this crap had been going on for like a year. As soon as he found out, I was told. Broke up with her. Still friends with her brother. Go figure. Came back from a trip 4 hours early. Wife was supposed to be at work still. Opened the front door, to see her sitting topless on the couch making out with a kaoka. He ran out the door, she ran into a bathroom, and locked the door. Sat on that couch for about an hour, because I couldn't think what else to do. Finally just up and left, so she could come out of the bathroom, and put a shirt on. Had been on the road for work, was supposed to be 10 days, got to go home a day early. Had a friend pick me up at the airport, to surprise my wife and two children, two years and eight months. Walked into my ex and her coffee friend snuggling on the couch, with my kids in the same room. I was livid, of course she denied everything. We split up weeks later. Two weeks ago I sent a message to a mutual friend asking to borrow a router. He didn't answer, but no worries he lives nearby. I'll just stop by and grab it. I pull up to his house, and start heading down the driveway. He has a long country driveway, so it's a few seconds, before I see my car. I drive a company vehicle during the day, already there. My heart began to sink. But they are friends, and business partners. Maybe it's nothing. I got out of my van, and look up to see the other guy shirtless in his bedroom. At this point my heart is down on my stomach and I'm visibly shaking. I go in and immediately head upstairs. He is alone. Now clothed. I say I came to borrow the router. Also have you seen my wife? The car is here he then proceeds to give the worst improve I've ever heard. Huh. No. She was here at some point though. Whatever I knew she was there I just wanted him to admit it. I go down. Take the router. And head back to the van where I finally encounter my wife topless trying to sneak around the side of his house. And now here I am. Her phone got a text from her friend, who was in the kitchen with her. So I assumed one of them sent it to me. Opened her phone to see a peen. Her friend doesn't have a peen. Now I'm divorced, and don't trust texts from friends. I caught my ex thanks to freaking Pokemon Go of all things. She mentioned Pokemon Go was using lots of her data. I explained that in her settings she could see how much data an app was using. I proceeded to show her, and prove to her it wasn't by pointing out Tinder was using much more data. It was sad, but also funny the way it went down. I have posted this before, but it's still funny to remember. Found my wife's notebook, written on the first page was a 10 step plan to telling how she was going to leave me for another guy. I turned it into one step. I got a new job with a cell phone company. Free phone for me 15 a month for her. First bill comes in with call detail. She was on the phone an hour a day with this number, while supposedly at work. I call. Dude answers. I hang up. I ask her. She lies and said it was a gal pal of hers. I told her I know she is lying, and call it again. Dude answers. Frick you brook. One night she told me not to come over because she wasn't feeling well. But then my sister wanted this hoodie back that she borrowed. So I thought I'd stop over with chocolate and a slurpee. I knocked on her door. She came to the upstairs window with only a blanket wrapped around her. I thought I told you not to come over. My sister needs her hoodie. Who's that? Says some male voice from her bedroom. Ah. I see how it is. I'll talk to you tomorrow. She says. Probably not. Have a good one. After a week visiting friends in London. England. I flew back to Canada. I was supposed to do something with another group of friends when I got back. But plans fell through, so I drove the 4 hours home to the apartment we shared. She expected me home at 6pm, I'd been up for 30 straight hours, and got home at 6am. Wanting nothing more than to fall into bed, there was an extra set of feet, attached to some arsehole, when I walked in. Girlfriend ran over her phone by accident, and destroyed the screen. Asked me to back up all her stuff, and transfer it to her new pixel. 
use backup tool that captures all sorts of dirty messages and nudes with another guy. We had a linked Apple account. We both had to find my iPhone app. Figured out what all the late nights at work really were. One of my former co-workers loaded in a SD card with a scanned project file on it. He put it into the conference room PC we were treated to naked pics of his wife freaking another guy. We were just stunned. This was in a senior budgetary meeting with the outside accountants and auditors. And he was sitting right there, and we were looking at his wife and another guy going at it. I reached over, and shut the projector off. Nobody said anything. He got up, and walked out, and drove off in his car. Left his phone and laptop sitting on the table. He wound up driving to his parents house 3 states away. He was gone for a week. He gave my number to his side chick in case of emergency and she accidentally called me instead of him. A friend of mine literally walked in on his wife and another guy doing it on their sofa. I guess he just yelled what the frick and ran out. Fassa book was a real crap show for a few days, and she even had the goal to blame him back. The ol it's your fault I cheated. Luckily there were no children in that marriage, and not much money to fight over. Not me, my dad. He told me the story a few years back. So, some of my mom's family were visiting from out of town, and they had planned a night at the bingo, which my dad couldn't attend, because he was working 6pm to am. He finished work early, and on his way home, saw my babysitter on the street. You are not with you slash Bassman 1976. No, your wife called me at around 8pm, saying she wasn't feeling well, and that she would stay home. My dad drove home, tried the front door, locked, no lights. He entered the house by the basement door, went up the stairs, heard them, a few feet away, my mom, and her cousin. Two years later, he almost left her, with me in tow, but stayed so I could have a normal life. Most of the time, I wish he'd left. Because he wouldn't have worked 90, 100 a week to avoid being home. And cold been happier. For those who are wondering, my mom had a long time affair with her cousin. Starting before she met my dad. She wasn't happy either I think. But my dad was a good catch. Yes, I'm sure he is my dad. We look so much the same. Yes they are still together. And after a year of being angry, I decided to let go. Because their relationship has nothing to do with me. Just sad for both of them. Walked in on my girlfriend, while she was having sex with another guy. What are you doing here? She says. You gave me a key. Remember? I ended up not working today, and wanted to surprise you. 15 years later she reaches out, leaves me a message, that she'd like to talk. I figure she's doing some 12 step thing or something, and wants to make amends. Nope. She wanted to try, and sell me on Amway. I returned from work on Christmas Eve. We had tickets to a festival which started the day before nigh, and I couldn't find the tickets anywhere, after seeing them the month before. I decided to double check the trash, before we put it out for collection. I found a used condom, we lived on our own. Okay so my ex was having computer problems, and wanted to go on Facebook on my phone. No problem but I made her use Safari, so I wouldn't have to log out of the app. Anyways couple days later I'm closing tabs on my phone and there is her facebook still open. Well I see she's chatting with her ex John. Turns out they banged in our bed, and were gonna go out on a date soon. So in the messages he asked she wear something nice in the messages. I'm not the jealous type, so I leave it for a couple days. Couple days go by, and she wants to have sex. Well we are kissing and getting hot and heavy. I whisper in her ear don't forget John wants you to wear something nice on your date Saturday. The look of horror in her eyes was magical. I put my shirt on, and start walking out as she's crying and saying she's sorry. Long story short, I suspected something for a few months. Like an idiot, I opened her phone, while she was asleep, and found exactly what I was looking for. Like you always do when searching through someone else's phone. Even with all of the texts right there, to see she still lied about it multiple times. She eventually admitted to it, but downplayed it heavily. She told me about two nights ago, that he asked her out on a date, and she said I had to say no, and was visibly sad about it. In the process of getting a divorce now, hurts like hell. Woke up in the night with a bad feeling. Got out of bed, and found my brother freaking my wife. Went home and my husband wasn't home, which was weird for him at 8pm. 
when an hour earlier he had told me he was going home. Had a gut feeling. Went to one of our female friends, who he claimed was like a sister, apartment. His truck is there. I knock. No answer. Try the door. It's unlocked. Walk into the living room. Nobody there. Hear noises in the bedroom. Walk in and lo and behold, there they are. Tried to make it work over next couple of months. But I can't get past it. Didn't even want him to touch me. Divorced 4 years ago. After a night of trying to keep up with my ex and her cowalkers drinking. I call it a night. They stop talking a few minutes later, and the dog scratched at the door. I let the dog in, and saw them making out on the couch. I watched for 10 minutes, before they noticed me. They were taking their clothes off by them. And he was touching her favorite spots, like he knew them well. No denying it by them. I'm glad I knew. A tense conversation followed with the two of them. He left. Very wasted on a very cold night. She got a ride to her aunt's place, and begged me to go look for him in the cold. Me and my girlfriend were long distance, and she had a habit of going quiet sometimes. She'd been texting me for the last few weeks, but had made excuses not to come visit. I went to a party that my friend had organized. I met a friend of his who told me he had a new girlfriend. I was surprised he hadn't mentioned her, so I asked who she was. This lady introduced me to my girlfriend. She told everyone that we broke up and had been dating my friend for about a month. She didn't bother to tell me. I went to the bathroom while we were playing board games. When I came back, everyone laughed at all my moves. She had looked at my hand of clue cards. It made it really hard to trust her during the orgy that followed. Her phone went off and she asked me what it said. I looked at it and it said, I wanna bend you over and spank you. We were engaged and he had a drinking problem. He was blacked out wasted. Accidentally butt dialed me and I listened to the whole thing only to find out after that it was with a prostitute. Not me but one of my best mates. His girlfriend snuck a guy into their one bedroom apartment whilst he was playing sparks in the living room. I heard the argument through the mic after he heard a noise coming from the bedroom. He kicked her out and continued playing with us. Edit. Alrighty. This certainly blew up. To the people saying my buddy deserved it because he is addicted to video games I don't know where you got that from. He only plays when there is a bit of spare time. She is just a crap person. After he caught them in the act and kicked her out he came back onto the mic to tell us what happened and to get off the game. We encouraged him to stay on and talk everything through with us. We were in different countries at the time and couldn't see him in person because we were worried. Their relationship had been a little rocky, but who would guess that someone would cheat, and especially in the next room. He is a great guy who did not deserve that happen to him. He is now in a healthy relationship with a wonderful lady. Didn't happen to me, but my closest friend growing up. He was making out with his girlfriend in the back of her car, which at the time she had only had for a week, and he put his hand on the back of the car somewhere between the back of the headrests and the rear windshield. I guess the opposite of a dashboard. Anyways he put his hand in a semi fresh load of juice. And her answer was that her gum must have flew from her mouth and land back there and the sun melted it into a jizz like substance. My first long term girlfriend and I were going to go to the same college. I got accepted but had to start the semester after she did meaning we would be slightly long distance for a few months. It wasn't too bad because we were only about 2 hours apart so it was pretty easy to visit. But our relationship did struggle a bit. I remember one night I got a phone call from her and when I picked up it was obvious it was a butt dial. I could hear her talking to some guy but couldn't make out what they were saying. I called her and she picked up and I asked what was up. She said she was in bed about to go sleep. I told her about the butt dial and she said it was her friend Jack, who I met asking to borrow something. I thought it was odd, but brushed it off. A couple weeks later I was up there visiting her, and I met a bunch of cool people, including this guy Luke. After I got back from visiting I get a Facebook message from him saying, Look man I hate to be the one to say this, but I think you're an awesome guy and you don't deserve this to be happening to you. She's been cheating on you with this guy pretty soon after she started here. I was devastated. But I had to hear it from her. So I called her and said, Are you cheating on me? She gave a heavy sigh and said, Well, 
At least I don't have to lie anymore. That guy's voice I had heard wasn't Jack. It was the guy she was cheating on me with. I just trusted her so much that I took her word for it. Even though it was painful, I was grateful for Luke sending me that message. What's funny is that most of the people I met up there that were her friends sided with me after the breakup. So when I started going there that next semester I had a group of friends to support me, and most of them are still very close friends of mine to this day. Boyfriend finally convinces me to have a threesome after months of begging. I finally agree, and our mutual friend comes over. Things get hot and heavy, and when he starts freaking her he moans. Damn you feel even better than usual. Everyone freezes. He tries to tell me that he was thinking about my pussy while freaking her, and that it just felt differently. But she felt so guilty that she confessed on the spot and begged me to forgive her. We don't really talk anymore, but last I heard she had been dating my ex for over a year. Using an alt account because the wife had been texting a lot and was very evasive when I inquired about it. Though she smirked when she thought it was making me jealous, yeah, she's that kind of person. Turns out she left her email logged into my cell phone. So I noticed that she had a weekend ebb and trip to a place that was a state away. We were living in different states at the time. That seemed to be of the quiet romantic jet away type. Total occupancy. Two. Well, I thought that was fairly suspicious. So, I monitored her Ebb and page. Which was easy, since we were friends on Ebb and Figuring that the owner might leave a comment about how great she was as a guest. Which it turned out, she did. Except the review went something like. Wife's name, and, guy not named me, were wonderful guests and so on. Yeah. So, anyone want to guess what the conditional probability is of that weekend trip involving infidelity? Pretty sure it's high. Wife apparently panicked, asked Ebden to remove the review, altered her name on the site, and then finally, having failed to get the review taken down, deleted her account. I eventually asked her about it during a counseling session, and she had already made defense about how she'd meant to take the trip with another coworker, but that person's car broke down so, guy's name, ended up tagging along since, guy's name, was that coworker's boyfriend. And they all stayed there together. But, guy's name, signed the goose book. Hence a totally honest mistake. In hindsight, I'm pretty sure she was not telling the truth. We are not still married. My ex-wife was an alcoholic. Like, bad alcoholic. One time I get home from my night shift a little early. And you guessed it. She was wasted. Well, I was horny. And she's usually wasted when we frick anyway. So what the hell? I came on to her, so, we are freaking and it's dark and she says, you need to hurry up. So I ask, uh, why, he's going to be home soon, uh, who, my husband you freaking idiot, yeah, so, I pull out, and hop out of the bed, and flip on the light, and this bitch looks absolutely baffled, she's crap faced wasted, and totally dumbfounded, I ask her, who did you think was freaking you, what, who did you think was freaking you, what are you talking about? Never mind. I'll talk to you about it in the morning. I'm not wasted. Yeah. She didn't even know what the frick I was on about. So. I go to bed on the couch. And I'm sitting there going over crap in my head. And I hear her come down the stairs. She goes into the kitchen. And I hear a drawer shut. A few seconds later. She's standing over me with a freaking knife. I promptly take the knife from her. Tell her to go to bed which she obliges without saying a single word. I grab the kids and put them in the car and drive to my mom's house where we spend the night. She starts blowing up my phone at 10am. Frantic that she doesn't know where the kids are. We have mini intervention. She promises to go to AA. I attempt to erase the entire night from my memory which didn't work obviously. Are you calling me a freaking liar? Yeah. I am. Because someone left their freaking hat on my freaking couch. At this point she concocts some stupid story about a neighbor coming to borrow something. 
I knew she was lying. At this point I had pretty much given up on the marriage, but didn't know what to do. I was afraid that, if I divorced her she'd somehow get the kids. A lot more fricked up crap happens over the next month or so, including her making up a story about Mexicans jumping her, my neighbor calling CPS, me catching her actually kiss a guy, two potheads admitting to having a threesome with her.
I found out my ex-boyfriend, dated from 15, 18, had been cheating on me when, upon walking into the apartment he shared with his mother and two elementary aged sisters, the youngest sister asked me when did you leave, I asked her when was I here, she responded, you were here all night, I could hear you talking to, ex's name, I had not been there for two days at that point. I asked him what she was talking about, and he blew bubbles for a few minutes before confessing. Good riddance. I've posted about this before, but he changed his phone password. I left it for months until something just wasn't sitting right in my gut. I unlocked his phone with my thumb, and I didn't even have to look there was a messaging app open with a girl he was meeting the next day. I sent him to work without confronting him. I reset passwords through a long chain of emails to finally access the one associated with the messaging app. Lo and behold, he was sending approximately 10,000 emails per year for the last 4 years of our relationship. He was living a whole second life, and hiding it from everyone. Our relationship had never appeared stronger, and we had been seeing a therapist, to work on strengthening our communication for 8 months. Once a week, clearly he was hiding his issues from the therapist as well. At the time, I felt like it ruined my life. I remember thinking very clearly, what did I do to deserve this? When I thought that, something inside of me just snapped. I calmly went, and bought a giant coffee, and cardboard boxes. I packed all his things up before he was home from work, and changed our locks. The end. Threads like these make me never want to date anyone ever again. My neighbor is deployed, and his wife is getting fricked by two dudes at the same time. Not always. Sometimes it's just Peanhead 1. But sometimes he brings his homeboy Peanhead 2 over to get in on the extramarital affair. I wish I knew the guy that being cheated on. But I was deployed when he moved in. I came home. Then he left a week later. Then Peanhead starting coming around. SMH people. SMH.